Welcome back to Hourless Life where we're driving around the world. Today we are in Antigua, Guatemala. And this city was founded in 1542. But a special thing happened a few years later. Yeah, in 1675, they started doing processions during Holy Week. Semana Santa. And this week we are here in Antigua to observe and participate in those awesome traditions. And we can't wait to show you. Today is Good Friday and we are gonna take you around the town with us and show you what it's all about. Let's go take a look. This is the main plaza in Antigua here on Good Friday. And you can see just the crowds of people all celebrating. So this is really cool, you guys. I just wanted to share this really quick. It really does have anything to do with Holy Week. But this is where people used to wash their clothes. They didn't have water at all their homes. And so they would come to this place here. And these are the wash basins where they would put their laundry in and wash them using the water that was provided here. It is mango season here in Antigua. So we are buying as much as we can while it's in season. This is delicious. Caspian, what do you got? Mango. Do you like it? That's Caspian's little buddy, Ty. We just got some mango. You guys like the mango? Yes. Woohoo! Part of the tradition here is to create these rugs or alfombras that you'll find all throughout the streets that the procession is then going to go over. This is an alfombra. We make for the day that we represent Jesus when we get on the cross. This is them if you want to see it. And they're really pretty. They put like all different things on it. Goodbye. Everybody gets involved, even this little one. This little one here is helping spray everything down. Look at how precious this one is. What a beautiful family doing a really nice thing and sharing their culture generation after generation. So it's incredible the amount of work that these people put into the alfombras. It is, they're out there for hours. They're scrambling at the last minute. You can sometimes see the procession coming and they're putting the final touches on it. They take so much pride in their work. They are making this even as the procession approaches. They are taking the time to put finishing touches on these rugs or alfombras. And as you can see, they're all up and down this street here. And the procession is gonna come in from behind us. The procession is coming this way. So they are gonna walk on top of all of these carpets or alfombras that are made out of sawdust. You can see the detail. And they have to battle the elements, right? So it rained yesterday and they had to cover it up. And sometimes there's wind, we just passed one where you could see how the wind had taken away the stenciling decoration that surely they spent hours on. Mm. But the people are undeterred. We are trying to track down this morning's procession. Oh, it looks like we're actually really close, <laughs> so we need to walk fast. <laughs> if you look carefully, you'll start to see Roman soldiers mixed in there. Now you're seeing some of the Pharisees and Sadducees in front. And behind them are the two criminals that were crucified alongside the Christ, each carrying their cross beam or patibulum for the cross. It's really moving to see the processions and to see all of these dozens of people carrying this heavy wooden float or altar, um, this display of what is being recognized and celebrated over Good Friday and Easter. And it obviously is something that is extremely difficult physically. Some of these processions started at 2.30 a.m. and go until 2.30 p.m. Yeah, so 12 hours of carrying this massive float, 75 people. And not only that, it's swaying back and forth and they'll count to three and have to hoist it back up on their shoulders. Position and get their feet under them again. It's just an incredible display of fortitude and perseverance and dedication uh, from these people here who are just displaying their faith. This turn on the corner is no easy feat.
they're just wearing flats and so they're doing this incredible walk and carrying this weight in flats and some of them even have their children holding on to their skirts through this long procession. just saw the procession, one of the processions for today on Good Friday, and I have seen three processions now, and that was by far the largest float that I've seen. I hesitate to call it a float. Um, it doesn't seem reverent enough, but it's incredible to see how many people are required to carry it. They're out here in this heat. We're hot just standing here, and meanwhile, they're carrying that heavy load. It really makes an impression on you to see that. It's an incredible place to be during Holy Week. We can't recommend it highly enough to you. If you ever have a chance to come to Antigua, Guatemala during Holy Week, add it to your bucket list and do it. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this tour of Holy Week and Good Friday here in Antigua with us. It's been really special to share it with you. Yeah, if you wanna see more behind the scenes stuff from this trip, as well as all of our other trips, check out our Patreon. We'd love to have you there. Community is incredibly important to us. And we have a special perk for several of our tiers where they get access to a free app called Marco Polo, where we share video snippets in real time from where we are. Yeah, and it's interactive. So if you have questions, you can just send them back to us and then we can respond to you just like we're doing right now here on YouTube. Yeah, we started that recently and it's been a lot of fun. Other than that, if you enjoy this type of content and you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do. And leave us a comment. We'd love to answer your questions. And we'll see you in the next video. See you soon.